Hello everyone, my name is Carolyn Stelmacher and I'm a PhD student in Germany at the University of Bremen. I will share our work today on an improved approach to simulating virtual weight in VR. Our paper carries the title Continuous VR Weight Illusion by Combining Adaptive Trigger Resistance and Control Display Ratio Manipulation. And this is joint work with all of my co-authors listed here. With current consumer VR systems, users are nowadays deprived of the ability to differentiate heavier or lighter weights in VR through their haptic sense. Handheld controllers are mostly limited to only vibrotactile feedback to substitute the diversity of those haptic sensory signals. And this currently limits the natural and realistic experience of object properties in VR. Previous works in VR weight simulation typically applied either hardware-based or software-based techniques that induce pseudo-haptic weight effects. And in our work, we combine both techniques to improve weight perception in VR and to achieve a continuous VR weight illusion. As a hardware-based technique, we apply the adaptive trigger resistance while grasping the object. And as the software-based technique, we manipulate the control display ratio while lifting the object. To render the adaptive trigger resistance, we use our previously developed haptic controller trigger muscle. And the controller has a spring mechanism inside that can increase or decrease the level of trigger resistance. The implementation of the CD ratio is mainly based on Samad et al's work. The concept here is that a change in the CD ratio applies a gain on user's physical arm movement, which then introduces a displacement between the real hand and the virtual hand in VR. So let's take a closer look at the simulation of our continuous VR weight illusion. At the beginning of the interaction, when grasping the object, a small trigger resistance is rendered. Immediately upon lifting, a small change in CD ratio introduces a small displacement between the real and the virtual hand in VR. The result is that the lighter object was lifted with a small amount of effort. The same mechanism is applied for heavier weights, just with higher manipulations. A higher trigger resistance is rendered during grasping, and a larger change in CD ratio introduces a larger displacement between real and virtual hand in VR, leading to an amplified arm movement. The result here is the heavier object was lifted with a higher amount of effort. Combining different techniques offers multiple benefits for haptic weight perception. Haptic weight cues at different phases during the interaction enable a more continuous weight perception. Weight cues can be adapted to the different types of manipulation, here grasping and lifting. The multi-sensory weight cues can better express the natural diversity in the haptic signals during weight perception. And a haptic sensation produced by a haptic device can be extended and improved without modifying the hardware. To test our VR weight illusion, we recruited 29 participants. We conducted the user study with a within subject design where each participant tested the following three conditions. Adaptive trigger resistance only, manipulation of the CD ratio only, and both combined. The study task itself was very simple. Participants repeatedly lifted two virtual cubes and identified the heavier one. After the comparison, they responded to the question of which cube felt heavier. We applied a mixed method approach to collect objective and subjective measurements. For objective measurements, we assessed the sensitivity to discriminate weights by recording the absolute perceptual threshold. To do so, we conducted a psychophysical experiment following the method of constant stimuli. 
This means that one of the cubes was always rendered with the same standard stimulus. The second cube was rendered with one of five pre-selected comparison stimuli. The rendered range of adaptive trigger resistance was between <clears throat> around 4 to 10 Newton. The range of the CD change was between 1 and 0 0.7. We applied a two alternative force choice task, meaning that participants had to respond to the question of which cube felt heavier and choose one out of the two cubes. To learn about participants' subjective weight experience, we additionally ask after each comparison, how confident are you in your decision and how much weight was the weight change? After each condition, participants filled out a questionnaire assessing qualities of their weight illusion, such as effectiveness or haptic realism. And we conducted a semi-structured interview. The results show significantly smaller thresholds for the combined approach, indicating that participants were significantly more sensitive towards smaller changes in weight. This means in practical terms, more distinguishable levels of weight can be rendered with the controller trigger muscle by adding the CD ratio manipulation. A possible explanation for the improved weight perception could be that the integration of multimodal weight cues might have achieved a higher reliability in the weight perception. And as our perceptual system typically favors more reliable signals, um, this might have strengthened the weight sensation. Participants reported that they determined differences in weight significantly faster in the combined technique than in the CD ratio manipulation only. And results for how confident participants were in their decision show that the combined approach led to significantly higher confidence levels when both weight cues were present compared to only the CD ratio manipulation. Results for the weight questionnaire confirm that all three techniques were effective in rendering weight. The combined method was rated to be significantly more efficient than the CD ratio manipulation alone. And the results for haptic realism show that the combined method was valued to be significantly more realistic than the adaptive trigger resistance alone. For the full questionnaire results, please check our paper. Overall, most participants favored the continuous VR weight illusion over the individual techniques. And in conclusion, our work shows meaningful benefits for the weight perception in VR when presenting multimodal weight cues at different moments during the interaction. In the future, we can envision new combinations as well as adding a third type of weight cue, for example, by applying electrical muscle stimulation.